It has been one week since shots were fired outside of Mount Horeb Middle School. And as we wait to learn more official details from the Department of Justice, our Maddie Heim sat down with some of those most affected. Maddie. Susan, Eric, I spoke with a middle schooler and her mother, not only about last Wednesday's events, but about the school environment leading up to the day and the community reaction since. The day before it on Tuesday, I had talked to him and asked him for a chair, and he seemed completely fine. Anna Kolb is an eighth grader at Mount Horeb Middle School. She was eating lunch with the rest of her class last Wednesday morning when suddenly things changed. People started getting up and running and screaming, and we were all like, well, lunch isn't ending right now, so what's going on? That very classmate who had loaned her a chair in homeroom the day before had approached the school with what appeared to be an assault rifle. Anna and a group of friends fled to a nearby child care center where she was eventually able to call her mom, Heather. She kept saying, there's a shooter and she's crying. And you know, it took her saying it three or four times for it to even register in my head. The two weren't reunited for several hours in what Heather called the longest day ever. Even knowing that your child is safe in the moment, there's still all those unknowns of like what is actually going on. and. Did anyone else get hurt? And just the shock that it happened. Since being reunited with their parents one by one Wednesday night, Anna said she and her classmates have been leaning on one another to process what happened. And I told myself I won't need any therapy or anything, but I did kind of surprise myself with how much it impacted me. She says the school district has put out strong messaging, encouraging students to speak out if they see or hear something that could be cause for concern from their peers. He had like kind of a dark humor, but nobody really thought it was serious ever. We all thought he was joking. So we didn't say anything. This is after the armed student's social media and personal website circulated, showcasing his interest in weapons and fascination with previous school shootings. You know, at first you're like, why didn't his parents know? But then I think to myself, I don't monitor their social media accounts. I mean, I have no concerns about them. I have no reason to monitor them, but you know, that then I'm I can't really hold that against other parents for not knowing what their child is posting on social media. Anna told me she's been paying more attention to her peers and reporting to teachers when she sees a friend who might need more help than they're letting on.